Hey everybody and welcome to the second AGS news video we got for you this week. He's still mad. He, he didn't cool off very much. <laughs> but uh, first we're going to talk about our wonderful sponsors, uh, OJ. Me. That guy. Yes. You should tell your friends all about our shenanigans and watch our crazy videos. Hit that like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe check out our Twitch, twitch.tv yes. backslash Angry Joe Show. Uh, and if you'd like, you can check out Patreon and the join button. Mm -hmm. All right. On to the news. GameSpot piss. Yeah. GameSpot pissed off the entire internet. If you are really, if you really want to like see what the internet gets outraged about, this is a really fun story because I just don't, I don't understand. You know understand. GameSpot should be mad about fucking mad. They should be 20%. mad about it, but they're mad about GameSpot because GameSpot had the audacity, the nerve, to run an ad campaign for the U.S. National Guard, and they were going to have a sergeant from the U.S. National Guard <laughs> talk about some things, and people lost their goddamn minds. The, some of the, twi uh, the tweets were like, "This is the most disgusting thing I've seen on the internet." Now they must what? look at a different internet that I look <laughs> the at because wait a minute, there are some disgusting the, things I've I seen mean, on the internet, and yeah, like the National uh, Guard is not, is not one of that them. That is the, the most. <laughs> Disgusting thing you've seen. Uh, yeah. yeah, get the f just get out. My so the, get eyes. out, get out of the internet. The you don't outrage need to be train here. just went completely off the rails, and people were pissed, and they were f like, and then furious, Why? and they were com like calling for this ad campaign to go away, and it worked. The ad campaign is gone. They immediately pulled down the tweets. They're not. I don't know if they're going to continue doing it. Why? Uh, because people don't want them advertising for the U.S. Armed Forces, but they will. They're totally Fuck fine you. with Call of Duty, which is. So, so you're going to buy Call of Duty in droves and you're going to virtually murder people and stuff, but nobody can advertise. If the National Guard shows up and say, hey, we want to inject money into gaming, and by the way, we exist in case you want to sign no. up. No. Get Worst out of thing, me. most disgusting thing I've seen on See, the internet. here's Maybe the line. The most disgusting thing. And, and here's the line. Then you have the army going on Twitch and say, hey, you want a free Xbox? <laughs> Click this link. You are now in the army. Yeah, you, you've well, what's your social? To that is, to Iraq. that <laughs> is where you can get upset. But if they're just simply saying, hey, we exist, and uh, here's some money, can uh, let them know we exist yeah. in case anybody wants to sign up. <laughs> Fuck you! Disgusting. Yeah. Get that shit out of my face, Joe. Oh. Ugh. Well, you know, Try I don't know if you know this, but the National Guard is helpful. They help us in disasters. I, I no, -uh. no, no. -uh. Yeah, have you never Disgusting. heard of a natural disaster? Okay, it's not it's just conspiracy theory. I know we went through several disasters with Anthem and Madden and all these other gaming disasters, but in real life, when you go outside, sometimes. We need the National Guard. So we'll put a couple of the <laughs> tweets above, but it's just people that that were looking for. They hadn't been outraged. Stupid in a while. people. Well, they hadn't been outraged in a while because there had been nothing that I had been like, I am mad. I it's can't. Like, I can't stand it. I can't then, stand outrage culture. Twi Twitter is a cesspool, and I fucking hate it. I used to like Twitter. Now I fucking fun. hate Twitter. From the outside looking in, it is hilarious. Yes, because you don't have a Twitter. No. I mean, there's a shadow account somewhere, but you don't engage in Twitter. And I don't, good for you. I keep it to anything. a minimum. And I understand why <laughs> people don't use Twitter anymore. I remember Jeremy when I talked to Jeremy. He does movie review with Jeremy Johns on YouTube, and we talked about it. And I, I. Just just didn't understand him at the time. Now I fucking totally yeah. understand. That's a smart and he's guy. He's in the right. Yeah. He is a smart guy. <laughs> the only reason I still have my fucking Twitter is just to announce you guys what we're doing. Yeah. And, and that is that's how you use Twitter. Okay? Because it's just a fucking Not echo chamber. <laughs> it's just a, the, the extremes, one extreme this way, one extreme this way. There's no discussion. There's no coming together. There's no, no fucking I don't it's just it's baby shat. It's garbage. Yes. It's okay. basically, I will beat you till you realize I'm right. Yes. I will brow beat you. Human beings were not meant to communicate in text 140 characters at a time. Like, Absolutely. there's context and sarcasm and all these things. It's hard yeah. to, to read into those things. And so, Okay, so, so just so we're getting this story right, all they did, the National Guard just wanted to advertise on one of the gaming channels, and they, they everybody Most freaked the fuck out. Most disgusting thing ever. No. People no, were dry not. heaving and everything. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was weird. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so uh, it canceled. I mean, it just immediately wow. got canceled. So uh, we don't know if they're going to continue on with the, the advertisement. If they're just like, no, no, the blowback was too much. We have to cancel this ad deal. But this is this like, could be a lot harder this is now, money yeah. for, for a, a gaming publication. And Could these those people on Twitter actually be Russian bot accounts? 
or Chinese oh, bot accounts. Oh no, no! <laughs> now you're engaging it's with Twitter. Them. You're engaging it's Twitter. with them now. I know. That's what I'm telling you. It's Twitter. It's conspiracy theory Twitter. Yes. So that's that's those those accounts Shape, are all fake. I, see, I don't like they that They want to weaken our military. I like chemtrails and shape shifting lizard Lizards. people. Yes. And like those but kind of conspiracies. I'm not, are I'm not funny. joking. I have seen Russian bots, and I have seen them oh, do yeah. what they do. Yeah. In support of uh, certain campaigns and uh, trying to get people to oh, argue. Sure. I've seen it because I have a lot of followers and then I have some of these things come at me and then you'll click on an account and you're like, whoa, this looks weird. And then you'll look through and you're like, wow, this, this shit is, is real. This is a bot. This yeah. is real. Yeah. All right. Well, so enough of the outrage stuff. Uh, let's get back into the ongoing legal battle of Epic Games versus everybody on the internet, apparently. What? Um, so Epic Google is and no Apple. more. They're, they're so, Round three? Uh, yes, sort of. So uh, Epic has filed another preliminary injunction to stop Apple from retaliating during this antitrust case. And so the... Epic was successful in getting uh, Apple to stop to take away their their things. It's like, look, do whatever you want to Fortnite right now, sure. but you cannot punish everyone else like that's using the Unreal Engine, and you can't take away our dev kit. And so yeah. Apple lost that, and Epic was able to keep those things. Now, Epic's is going and said filed the motion on Friday, calling the judge handling its ongoing case. Uh, that would, uh, what does it want f specifically for this? For preventing Apple from blocking Unreal Engine on iOS uh, and successfully arguing that this would damage many third-party developers that use it. And then this, this motion, this ongoing battle, uh, the judge was discussing bringing the case with Google also into the Apple case. And they and then Google said, we want nothing to do with Apple. And then there's actually some really interesting legal precedent. Hmm. The difference between Google and Apple these aren't the same cases. If you own an iPhone, the only storefront you can have on your iPhone is the Apple storefront. If you own an Android, you can have any storefront you want. And Google says, look, this, we can't be brought into this antitrust thing because when you buy our phone, you put anything that you want on it. But if you use our storefront, you follow our rules, and that's where their disagreement is. Okay. So this actually, the, the distinction between the Google case and the Apple <coughs> case actually was kind of interesting. Uh, again, we're probably months and months and months away, but now we're... Yeah, gonna... then I, <laughs> I don't want to get a minute update on every single legal, legal yes. motion because I guarantee you these companies gonna are going to be petty as fuck. I would like to dismiss the judge because he sneezed while I was making my legal case about how Apple he is He wasn't the paying best. attention, so mm. out with him. Yes, and he should be gone. Uh, the but no, that is interesting, and 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 you're right. I don't think that those two cases should be combined should be into one. Out. They should be, you know, so, uh, fought separately. Yes, one's more antitrust, and more, one's more like, look, you're using my platform yeah. to play by Apple's my Apple's the bigger dick. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in so this is going to shock you. Call of Duty had something leaked this week. Um, you know, the <laughs> same thing that happens every single week. Oh, I did, I did the see this, guys. Time. Call of Duty. I, did you see it? Did you see Watch the gameplay? The yeah. Yeah. yeah, there yeah. was only like a minute Seven. or some, or maybe two minutes, something yeah. like that. And then there was like a 46-second clip or a shorter one. Did you see it, Joe? Yeah. It. I don't know about you guys, but it looks garbage. It looks fucking garbage. And, okay, y'all y'all don't agree. I, it might have just been the player that was playing it, but I'm worried. Yeah, I'm worried about Cold War. That that did not look good to me. Yeah, so you're talking about the the Miami themed map, yeah. the multiplayer map. Yeah, 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 where he's running around in a mm -hmm. club or something. It's, mm -hmm. That's what it starts off as. Yeah. And I don't know the 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 gun sounds, the gunplay, the movement. Of course, this As guy's constantly sliding, bunny hoppy, <laughs> sliding, sliding, bunny hoppy. We call of Duty. Yeah, you're Call of Duty. Right. You have to yell yeah. Call of Duty but, but as he, you bunny hop. But he was and doing slide. all that shit. But he sucked ass yes. at the game, and maybe that made it look worse. But on it, I just I don't I don't think I like the direction Infinity Ward has taken Call mm -hmm. of Duty, uh, minus all their goddamn bugs every fucking update. Yes. Uh, well, also but the I do think the that the, the gameplay is solid, and even multiplayer's gameplay is solid. I'm not just talking just Warzone. I'm talking about, on the whole, w the direction that Infinity War is taken. But the, the Treyarch Call of Duty, uh, this Cold War, mm, what did you think of it? Uh, I mean, it doesn't look... It's it, not enough There wasn't you know? enough it's to not, make a decision. Yeah, exactly. We saw a small yeah. part of the map. It's leaked footage, sure. and so it's not... Like, this isn't the trailer that's going to be shown later what, mm -hmm. later this week, right? Well, it's when they're supposed to get this That clip was Garbo. I yeah. think we can all agree on 
on yeah. that. So it looked like we got bad gameplay. I mean, it was Miami themed VIP ex- escort. Uh, the least favorite thing I ever do in any yeah, sort of video game I, is I don't you think... got to escort the AI somewhere. It's like, no. God damn it, no. Keep them alive. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> fuck this. that. That's yeah. going to be a shitty mode, especially if it's like player controlled or NPC AI is a piece of shit. Or it just it, starts I... running into a wall over and over and over again. It's like, <laughs> stop it. So yeah. don't want to play that mode anyway. We'll see. We'll but see. But in true Call of Duty fashion, it was leaked ahead of time, and I just can't tell if they're doing it on purpose or if it's just it's you know, purpose. There's no, some purpose. no. I don't think it's on purpose because there are many influencers and people. Uh, you know, this is a big game played by millions and millions of people, and they need to beta test, and they test, and then they when they widen this circle of testers. Eventually, something is going to leak yes. where some person don't. I don't give a fuck what you do to me, or I'm going to use VPNs and this and that and send it to a friend in Russia and he'll fucking leak it. For yeah, me. They will Whatever. It. Any way, anywhere that they can get attention, it's going to get leaked. So uh, I do know what you're saying there that they kind of leak stuff ahead of time. But a clip like this where yeah, the player is really bad and it's showcasing it in the worst possible way in such a short segment, I don't think it's good because. Remember in the and and this is one positive thing at the end of that trailer where they showed like some of the sand dunes and stuff. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this is looking great. Looks cool, I'm yeah. really yeah. sad. So I'm just letting you know that that clip was bad, and I'm sure they didn't want that clip out there. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready for some good news? Finally, yes, please. Uh, we got some CD Projekt Red news. We got two a two part. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you put you put that in here. Good, yeah, fuck so yeah. They have confirmed that uh, they are not going to follow suit with the other really large uh, developers and the. The new game, uh, Cyberpunk, I don't know if you heard of it, uh, is going to be $60. They're bit. not going to fall yeah. asleep. And so that's a that. really good thing. And it's not going to be 200 gigabytes? I'll buy, I'll buy fucking two <laughs> copies. I'll buy a fucking tree. Got two anyway, man. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, I was going to buy it regardless. Yeah, we were going to buy it. We were going to buy it. We want to support you. That's one that you can, that you can pre-order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We also got some other news from them that they are, they've confirmed that the next generation of consoles – uh, we'll have Witcher 3. So yep. there's going to be Witcher new 3. versions of the Blockbuster RPG will be sold as a standalone product, but available as a free upgrade to existing owners. Free! Free. For free! That is great That's news. huge. Next gen yes. upgrade. You got Witcher 3? Free! Yeah. N- upgrade. We're going to upgrade it for you for free. Do you understand That's why? Huge. Do you understand why people like this company? Do you understand why we would be more willing to buy two copies? Do you understand why we would why buy their deluxe edition? Do you understand why we would buy their merchandise? Um, if you don't understand, then you're a dumbass. And you know, I'm talking go to the other company. Free, free, go back to your man in, or, or EA. Go back to your, to your executive meeting because you're not going to listen to this. You're not going to adopt these tactics, are you? If you did, you'd be smarter and people would <laughs> might maybe like you a little better. Games but be time better. and time again, you ignore this kind of stuff i mean how long has cd project Red been out here doing this and kind of good stuff to, for the players and ea's like oh that's just a uh i don't know that's an anomaly I, yeah. I'm, uh, money money okay, more, more money more money yeah it makes a lot more than cd project true yeah. but yeah. i'm gonna so make sure that, that they get they get some. cd project is some else. yeah you can I, get some of it yeah i mean this is a really good deal so everyone kind i mean Everyone expected The Witcher 3 to be available. I mean, look how many systems Skyrim's been on. You can play Skyrim oh, on a refrigerator on a laptop. Oh, yeah. But that's Witcher the would charge you for it, that. It, and they have, yeah. And so this being available on the next platform, I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I read it's like for free. It's like, that's huge. That's, yeah, huge. that's a really big thing. That's, a lot. That, that's like millions of dollars they just left on well, the table. Well, they've sold 20 million copies of Witcher 3 lifetime. And yeah. so that's a lot of money. Yeah, my For dumb ass. Stupid. Man, my <laughs> dumb ass this is literally Skyrim business stupid. <laughs> three times. You bought Skyrim three times. Three times, unfortunately. That is stupid. That is stupid. That is that is literally that, business. That is stupid. stupid yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn it, why? Well, I like they, Sky, they I like Skyrim. It's me. a good game. And if it was yeah, Madden, Joe, you'd be, you'd be so out of here. You'd be fired. I'm not gonna buy You're it done. this time. Yeah. Don't you buy it? Yeah. All right. So I figured it'd be nice to end, you know, the the second video with a little bit of a bright spot. So okay, anything else you good. guys want to talk about that, that happened maybe over the weekend? Uh, no. Um, just fucking we 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 got we got a lot of Avengers to play. We're behind on Avengers. Uh-huh. I know everybody already has we'll their their, their comments on there. We'll. We'll, we'll do Avengers. Uh, they announced a Blade Runner Enhanced Edition mm-hmm. is coming. I never got to play that one. It was an action-adventure point-and-click. I love the Blade Runner universe. And uh, I watched uh, Raising by Wolves. Maybe y'all guys can watch it. Maybe we could do some a review on that. Uh, I still have to make this guy watch Lower Decks. So a uh-huh. lot, of, lot of content. No! <laughs> yeah, I remembered! We have to watch The Boys. We don't have time for Lower Decks. Oh, and The Boys. I finished The Boys. 
all three episodes so far. Yeah, but I... Oh, I was yeah, about to I, say. I, I well, there's only so three. I no time for so I haven't even yeah. seen yeah. Asshole Raised by Wolves. Anyway, so a lot of content coming <laughs> yeah. to you uh, over the next couple of days, this mm-hmm. week, and, of course, next week. Okay, bye. Thank you all. See you all later. Bye. Bye, guys.